Most human cells spend 90% of their time in a state called interphase. During this time, the cells are producing proteins and carrying out their intended function, prior to preparing for mitosis. In each of these cells there is a nucleus, around 6 micrometers in diameter. That's around one-tenth of the width of a human hair. Within this small nucleus, there resides a nucleolus, some proteins, and around 2 meters of DNA, split into 23 pairs, totaling 46 chromosomes. Each chromosome comprises of two territories. Territory A sits closer to the nucleus and is less densely packed, allowing easier access to genes so that they can be expressed by transcription machinery. Territory B sits towards the periphery of the nucleus and is more densely packed, leaving it mostly inactive. Within these territories gather genes with similar functions to one another. Their proximity allows them to be expressed at a similar time. These are called topologically associated domains. Looking closer at one of these domains, there are nanodomains, which are nearby groups of nucleosome clutches. A nucleosome is made up of eight histone proteins, which DNA wraps around roughly twice. With very little exposed DNA between each nucleosome, they form a nucleosome clutch. Each level of organization provides the chromosomes with their structure. But what keeps each structure in its own spot within the nucleus, instead of floating between one another? Within the nucleus, there is a network of proteins forming a scaffold, a structural framework to which the DNA can hold on to. This is called the nuclear matrix. Certain sequences of DNA, both within and in between genes, interact with proteins in the nuclear matrix. These regions of DNA are called scaffold or matrix attachment regions abbreviated to SMARs. One way proteins recognize SMARs are by an AT hook. The hook contains the amino acid sequence glycine, arginine, proline, which combines the minor groove of SMAR sequences, rich in adenine and thymine. Distamycin is an important small molecule that similarly binds to the minor groove of AT-rich sequences, meaning it can be used as an inhibitor preventing the nuclear matrix proteins from binding. This was useful in experiments to validate how DNA binds to the nuclear matrix, but also creates a potential use in therapeutics. Some of these interactions between DNA and the nuclear matrix are very stable and long-lasting, earning the name constitutive SMAR elements. These stabilize the chromosome structure and spatial arrangement during interphase. But there are also less stable interactions. Transient SMAR elements only briefly interact with the nuclear matrix as they bring genes in towards the transcription machinery associated with the nuclear matrix in order to be transcribed. AT dense regions, as well as being a target for AT hooks, are also prone to strand separation, allowing transcription initiation. After transcription has begun, the SMAR element dissociates so the gene can pass through the transcription machinery. The combination of constitutive and transient SMAR interactions with the nuclear matrix allow the compaction of 2 meters of DNA into a tiny nucleus, while gathering functionally relevant genes near one another and regulating their transcription.